Okay, we're back with more bill packs and pinball. Just think soon I won't be able to save them anymore because it'll be done. I thought today I would show you some of the vector design. Since I have this ingrained, irreversible background in graphic arts, I still use Adobe Illustrator for everything because I'm used to it and I'm fast at it. So, yeah, I, I still do everything in two dimensions, but you know, it's kind of like the old school. Uh, you know, that's how they did it in the old school. Anyway, so uh, what I do is I, I did the board layout, and a lot of this was derived by having my temporary board so I knew what the shots would be. And what I can do in the computer is I can, I can separate the layers. So if I just want to see the board, I can look at it that way. And as you can see, here's the drop targets, here's the alien counter, here's where the ramps are mounted, here's the lock balls. And uh, basically what I have to do now, since I'm getting ready to cut it, is I have to kind of deconstruct the board and take it apart and make a revision that doesn't really look good, but it's what the router can cut. So, on here I can show you a color version of it. There, that's what the board's going to look like. There's no background art because I'm not going to show that yet, but um, it's got the car, the Titanic, the two ramps, some drop targets there, some more targets, all sorts of stuff. And anyway, what I do is I have to take that all and copy it over into a new piece of art. And this is actually what the router will cut. And as you can see, there's a ton of screw holes. And all of these are um, holes for the uh, playfield insert lights. And I have to make sure I get everything important copied over. And then I color code it. I don't know if this shows up on the screen, but this, for instance, the cyan means it is a female cut, means the bit goes on the inside and uh, goes all the way through, whereas the red means the bit only goes about halfway down. And this is actually going to be printed in, or cut in reverse. So what, this ha what happens here is it kind of taps these. So on the bottom of the board, you, can, you know where to insert the screw, but it doesn't go through the top of the board, whereas these holes do go through the board. As you can see, some of these colors are black. That means you can use a quarter inch bit. These smaller ones, they've got like tighter corners, so you have to use the eighth inch bit and it's slower. But the bigger stuff you can do with a quarter inch, so I've indicated it as such. So yeah, that file's pretty much about ready to go. All I really have left to do is to make the bracket to mount the um, Titanic toy. But uh, yeah, I mean, I spent a lot of time drawing this stuff. Because yeah, you can make a temporary version using cardboard and wooden sticks, but then <clears throat> once you know that it works, it's time to go in and draw stuff. Like as, as right here, you can see the... Uh, you can see the can crusher mechanism, how that works. Uh, you can see I'm working on the Titanic ramp mount. Of course, I'm making it symmetrical. There's a uh, side view of the of the angle and everything. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that goes into this. Oh, and then what, another thing I have to do is I have to take all the raised wood pieces and separate them into another file and cut this. This is all the raised portions of the, of the board on top of the main board. So yeah, a lot of drill holes going on, but uh, well, I'm working on a planetary gear for a toy I might add later. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much how it works and it's just a lot of drawing and a lot of uh, fine-tuning to make sure it's symmetrical, but uh, in the end it uh, makes it all worth it. So, hey, we've got computers, we might as well make them work for us.